Okay, uh, well, a very uh, warm welcome to uh, tonight's keynote uh, presentation and uh, more generally to this uh, two-day conference on geopolitics and Ireland in the new uh, world order. My name is Mark Boyle, I'm head of the Department of Geography. And I want to say a few words by way of uh, welcome. I guess I should begin by apologising for us having to uh, run such a prestigious lecture in the arts, the old arts uh, uh, block. It is, uh, as you can see, a little bit tired, a reflection of the IMF uh, uh, restrictions on capital <laughs> refurbishment uh, programmes. But uh, we thought it would be a nice uh, reminder uh, for Derek for his IBG talks in the 1970s and 1980s. Uh, so it's home from home and, and, and stuff like that. Three thank yous before I introduce uh, Derek. Thank you to everyone for coming. Uh, we have obviously a whole number of guests to the campus from Ireland and beyond. So you're uh, very welcome. We hope you enjoy the event and hope you enjoy the surrounding milieu of Canoot uh, and beyond. I want to thank especially uh, Professor uh, Jenny Kearns, uh, who has put a tumultuous effort into the organisation of this event. Anyone who organises an event of this magnitude, with this range of people from this range of countries, will know that it's uh, no mean feat. So uh, I'd like to thank Jerry sincerely for the effort of putting Jerry. Thank you. <laughs> what Jerry doesn't know is that he's in charge of the 40th anniversary uh, <laughs> And as a congratulation for doing such a good job, and he has a, a series of additional events to organise uh, in the remainder of this year to celebrate and commemorate uh, 40 years of geography uh, here in the uh, here in Minu. Uh, it's great that we have some of the founding members of the department here to reflect on those 40 years and Planet Duffy in particular as the originator of the department of geography. So, well, Finally, uh, thanks to Sinead, uh, who is going to be chairing the discussion afterwards, and I think we have some time uh, after the lecture for discussion, so we're very much hoping to be lively today, except that the topic of tonight's uh, presentation begets uh, a lively discussion, so I'm thanking you in advance for agreeing to chair that discussion. Okay, well, our keynote uh, presentation for this meeting is uh, delivered uh, by uh, one of uh, the most prominent, one of the most cited, one of the most influential uh, geographers around the world. So absolutely delighted to bid a very warm welcome to uh, Derek Gregory. Uh, Derek is a native of Kent. Um, I seem to be introducing world superstar geographers from Kent these days. There is something geographical about the cluster uh, that is bequeathing us uh, uh, geographers of, of Derek's uh, ilk. And uh, from uh, his uh, formative years, he went on to uh, undertake his uh, education in Cambridge. When uh, he graduated, he subsequently uh, went on to take appointments um, in Cambridge, becoming uh, Sydney Sussex. Fellow. Uh, Derek reminds us on his website that he had the choice between acting at this point and taking a geography lectureship at Cambridge and decided that because he could write his own scripts and mark the audience, uh, that actually <laughs> lecturing was probably uh, preferable uh, to acting. He remained at Cambridge until taking up a professorship at the University of British Columbia. Uh, in the beautiful Vancouver in uh, 1989, a position that he uh, retains to this day. Um, Derek Gregory's publications speak for them, themselves, and uh, it is truly scary to make any effort to put uh, any kind of narrative from a two minutes spree onto them. <laughs> Suffice to say that he's published 15 uh, books to date and is working simultaneously on another five uh, books as we, uh, uh, as we speak. Everyone has their own personal favourites. Uh, for me, um, in terms of uh, what I would regard as being books that were formative for my generation, whatever that uh, implies, I think Derek's first book, Ideology, Science and Human Geography, published a note for the PhD students prior to the submission, I believe, of uh, Derek's PhD was a remarkable, a remarkable publication, uh, shattering many of the illusions of spatial science at that point in time, 
and uh, uh, prefiguring um, uh, much of the trends in uh, the social production of space literature, which was to follow critical human uh, geographical literature. Written in 1978 by someone who had not yet completed uh, his PhD. Uh, Geographical Imaginations would be a second uh, uh, book of, for me, it was formative 1994 uh, uh, publication. An introduction to Western Marxism, an introduction to critical uh, geographical inquiry into uh, what Derek referred to as the empires of abstract space, <coughs> the grids of the uh, capitalist economy and the uh, capitalist state, and uh, the existential experience of living life uh, through them. If that book not only uh, uh, was timely, informative, and an important juncture in geography's history, but it was also a book which was uh, incredibly lucid. And if you have the opportunity of rereading that, I think the capacity to articulate difficult ideas in lucid, lucid form, I think, goes down beyond its content as a hallmark contribution of that particular uh, book. And finally, uh, The Colonial Crescent for me, uh, again a book that uh, has been incredibly powerful uh, in geography. A book which um, I think announces a particularly elevated and heightened uh, politicisation uh, of Derek's writing. It's referred to in the Los Angeles Times as a must-read heresy. Um, and David Harvey at the same uh, time referred to it as a must-read for all those concerned with peace and justice in a time. I think it's a very potent and, uh, in many ways, direct and pointed book and worth revisiting continuously. Derek's uh, five books that are outstanding uh, include his uh, work on uh, travel writing in Egypt, uh, which I think has bequeathed some of his more colourful uh, presentations. So Dancing on Pyramids is a book we're all looking forward to seeing. And yes, uh, amongst his uh, uh, writings, that will result in the publication of a book, book which have already resulted in multiple uh, other publications is work which you'll speak to tonight on the techno-cultural history of aerial bombing. Derek's already published this work uh, quite prolifically in cultural studies literature, in philosophy, in Arab studies, in global studies and in defence uh, uh, study genre. So uh, it's an indication of how far travelled his writing has been today, the impacts that he has beyond discipline, and given that his uh, ideology, science, and human geography uh, now is 78, 30, three years ago, it's an indication of the longevity of this most remarkable scholar. So I'd like to welcome to the podium my Professor Derek Gregory. I will speak to the title of Lines of Descent, Vietnam, Afghanistan, and uh, Afghanistan. <coughs>